boom, boom. Smashed. I think that good. Oh, wow, what a goal shot. Hit the flag. Hit it. <gasps> Come on, Pete, make magic happen. Get in the hole. All right, guys, big match. Golf bidder, second hand club challenge. We've both had 500 pounds to spend. Me versus Peter Finch. Feels like we've had quite a number of these episodes so far. In fact, this started, this whole challenge mm. started eight years ago at this very venue, Burr Hill Golf Club. Remember those days? Fresh faced and was, wet was that, behind that no the ears. That might be no beer territory. 100% no beer. Here's, an, here's a little clip of that now. Now, we have had some incredible duels mm. in the Golf Bidder Second Hand Club Challenge. And today we hope to bring you an even better, more dramatic match than ever before. This morning, we went to Golf Bidder HQ and picked our weapons of choice. I picked up a tailor-made burner driver, the original one, a Titleist 906 F23 wood. I also got some fantastic tailor-made R7 TP irons, a selection of Vokey wedges and Cleveland wedges, plus hopefully my secret weapon, the Odyssey Metal X putter. Pete decided to go more down memory lane with a Ping I-20 driver, a Ping G30 5 wood, Ping S56 irons, a couple of Vokey wedges, plus an Odyssey 2 ball blade. If you want to check out a full rundown of the clubs we chose, check out Pete's channel straight after this video. And none of this would be possible without our good friends at Golf Bidder. Be sure to check out Golf Bidder for all your used golf clubs and also to exchange your existing clubs for some cash. Check out the Golf Bidder website in the top line of the description. I think every one of these matches, not every one, but the vast majority, if you think about the dramatic 18th holes we've had, yeah. we've had Woburn, obviously had last year as well, which yeah. is incredible. I'm excited. I had a dream. I don't want to preempt this. Sorry. I've already told the boys. I had a dream last night that I had a hole in one. And it was vivid. I love like, it. I woke up pretty convinced that it had happened. Let, I'm ready, Peter. If you have a hole in one today, I'm ready to pop that champagne with well, you, pal. I was saying, like, if it happens, it's on tomorrow, my channel. Tomorrow's, <laughs> tomorrow's plan's cancelled. Like, we're about half an hour away from London right now. So I'm thinking just straight in. Like, maybe, maybe that's a match ender. Done. When's the first part three? If you have a hole in one, I'll give you the match. Guys, this is going to be epic. Again, we're down here at Burr Hill. We're playing the old course today. 6,600 yards off the white tees we're playing today. Um, I think without further ado, let's get let's just go, ready for this first tee. And here's a little, a little sneak preview of what we've both been thinking before getting to this first tee. So after last year's halved match, there's one up with one to play and I end up losing the last hole to half the match. Uh, I feel very confident this year. Oddly enough, I do. I've been playing quite a bit of golf. I think my club choices are the best I've ever made in this challenge. Um, really happy with everything I've chosen so far. So there's no excuses there. I feel relaxed. I feel chilled. I know I can do peak match play. Um, I'm, a, I'm a good match play player. I am. That's what I need to remember today. Stay patient. Stay calm. Hold plenty of putts with this bad boy. And let's go and get that win. So prep has been okay. Like with my driver, I'm actually striking it quite well. I don't know how this one's going to perform, but generally my weakness has been my irons. So I've spent this week really trying to dial in my iron swing to make sure that I'm hitting it acceptable. Cup choices I'm actually really happy with. Everything that I've got in my bag is kind of like a bit of a throwback to things I was using as I was younger. So I've got my irons from when I was at college. I've got my putter from when I was a junior. So everything in there kind of brings back some decent memories. So last year was a half. I mean, Rick diddled me a little bit with the putter choice, but I'm over that now. I hardly think about it, maybe once, twice, three times a day. So this year, I have a feeling that I'm just gonna knuckle down, I'm gonna concentrate, and I'm gonna come out on top. Okay, play well, Pete. Enjoy, pal. I think that's the most important thing. You know what, let's just have an absolutely fabulous time. I hope you guys have a fabulous time watching as well. Get yourself a cocoa. Settle in for the evening. Let's go deep. Okay, got an old school Titleist 906 F2 Graph Alloy, oh sorry, Pro Force V2 shaft. Yeah, nice shot. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, 220 yards. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Went a little bit high up in the air, but we're in the middle of the fairway. Well, I'm thinking with the few spaffs that I've had on the driving range, there's quite a lot of room right here. <laughs> it wasn't a, 
I say he was filling me with confidence, but I've got the i10, which is a complete lie. So it's got 20 on it and feels great, looks great. Just hoping this shaft performs. Smashed. Smashed. It's a nice flight, that. Hopefully it's not reached that second it bunker. It was heading towards that bunker, I must admit, but what a great hit, right? That bunker's miles away. Let's go. Let's go. Um, as Pete's messing with his remote control trolley, I've come down to my ball. I'm a bit confused, really. I expected to be much, much, much further down with my three-wood shot, but I'm not. I'm actually miles away from the flag. <laughs> I could have easily hit driver. I was worried about that bunker that Pete's headed towards, but I don't know if even if Pete's in it, so I don't think I would have reached. Anyway, we're in the fairway. It's a nice opening tee shot. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure if I'm, that course planner was quite right. <laughs> oh, did you actually look at a planner? Yeah. Are you taking this like seriously? Too right. Wow. I, that bunker's 284, and I thought I'd hit three woods like down there, but anyway. Okay, four iron in hand. Irons I picked was the tailor-made R7 TPs. Nice looking set of irons, actually. Oh, that's left. Hold on. Clip it. Heard something. Just looks like there's tree trouble down there. It's a bit of a pulley one. Ah, that wasn't the strike I wanted. <laughs> Come on. Is this new? <laughs> well, it's got a follow feature, but it was like, it was having a bit of a twitch just before you were hitting. So I said it to stop it, it attacked me. 145 yards. I did reach that bunker. I must be surprised that that driver kind of came off with a bit more of a, a little bit more of a pop than I expected. I always remember this driver being quite a gentle, uh, quite a gentle beast, but I don't know, must have bulked up in that time. So I don't think the lie's great. I've got a nine iron here. Yeah, that's, that's sat down. That's not great. That might be a case of actually just laying up and then trusting my uh, new Vokey wedges. Well, second hand Vokey wedges, but you get my gist. So I'm just gonna literally just flop it out a little bit and just trust probably the same club again. I'll do. Yeah, that's fine. Got to take take my medicine. Sat down. Just a top tip to everyone: just give these bunkers a good rate. Come on. And we takes a minute. Now you're excited to get to your next shot, but you know, bit of cool setter could never hurt anyone, did it? Okay, 82 yards. Not a bad layup. And I am going to be using the same club again, a 54 degree. That pin is right at the back. That is stinky. Oh, very nice. Good shot. Mm, plan is kind of working out so far. Well, the new plan after the first plan went astray. Okay, after my pulled iron shot there from the fairway, I have found it, but it's not in a particularly nice spot. I might just take a few shots to get used to those irons. Uh, I'm just in this leafy area. So I'm 52 yards away from the flag. Pete's hit a wonderful approach shot in here after laying out the bunker. So uh, this needs to be on the green, I feel. Uh, duh, 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 duh. What club choice have I got? I'm going to go with a 58 degree. I've got the Titleist Vokit SM5 in the bag. So really nice looking wedge. Anywhere on the green would be a huge result. Yeah, it didn't look, uh, didn't look overly friendly in there. That was a little bit unlucky, to be fair. I just didn't want to go over the green because there's a bunker over the back of the green, so it needed to be judged to perfection. Always tricky on a lie like that. Okay, just off the side of the green, feel like I need to definitely get this up and down. Pete's got an eight footer or so for par. Just on a little up slope, nothing else to worry about. Hit the flag. Hit it. Oh! <gasps> Oh, how did that not go in? It was pacey. I mean, pacey is one word for it. It was pacey, but 
I actually think that should have got in. <laughs> okay, adventurous five, but we're in for five. All right then, pal, you've still got this putt to win the hole after a great third shot into this green. Ooh. Hard lines, mate. Hole halved in fives. Nothing too impressive there. All square through one. Okay, par four, second hole. Fairly short-ish, three, probably 60 off this tee that we're playing off today. Back going towards the beautiful manor house, which is the clubhouse. Driver in hand, driver I picked was this. The tailor-made burner, original burner, TP edition. Gorgeous looking driver. Nine and a half degrees. I think I'm gonna enjoy hitting this. For right! <laughs> Again, I might need to get used to that driver a little bit. Okay. Well, kind of line. Oh yeah, got the pen. Just kind of right over the corner of these trees, isn't it? Really? Yeah, I was trying to it fade, but overcooked it, obviously. Yeah, perfect. That driver's suiting you so far. Okay, so after uh, knocking it back down the first fairway, I just wanted one more go at this. 147 yards, not much wind to play with. I've actually got a clear line to the pin. I know the pin is very back right. So we just wanna be just slightly left of that pin position. Nice nine iron, stick it close. Yeah, pretty good. Mm, we're on the green, but it's a bit, a little bit left. Okay. So I've played, played here twice. And it seems that every fairway bunker is right where I want my driver to go, which is a little bit less than useful. The ball again is sat down. So I'm going to try something a little bit experimental. My irons, S56. And it's sat down, so what I'm going to do is use a 9-9 and basically play a really long chunk and run. Hope that doesn't hit a car. Bit too much club there, Pete. Just a little bit. It was uh, a little bit less chunky than I imagined. I don't know about you. How nervous was everyone when that was heading towards those cars? I mean, I must admit, I was, I was a little bit nervous, but it's one of the beauties actually of being on Rick's channel. <laughs> he picks up the bill. You can do whatever you want. All right, we've got a lob wedge. And practically just flick it over this slope. Should stop pretty quick when it lands. Oh, oh magic. Magic shot, Pete. That looked pretty well good. Well played, pal. Okay, found the green in two after my way with tee shot. We've got quite a big slope on this right to left, and it's up the hill. Putter-wise, I've gone for this. The Odyssey Metal X number seven. Little seven shape, thick grip. I like it. Feels good in my hand. So hopefully, feels good when I'm putting with it. Right, up the hill, let's get a good speed on this. And simmer, 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 simmer. Gee. Yeah, they're pretty good. As soon as it went left, it just kept going left. It kind of feels like it's going to go in that way, touch. It's a good putt though, mate. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't horrendous, right? Both putts for par now here on number two. Both a tricky little pin, just with it being on that slight slope. Come on, two ball. I had this putt when I was a junior. Come on, bring back those memories. Wow. Yeah, pick it up. That's two that I've massively overread. That would have been an outrageous up and down, to be fair to you. Okay, slightly up the hill, left to right. Not a load in it, I'm just gonna go left edge and just let it drop in the center. Well done, mate. Thank well you. Done. Good too, but Thanks, par bud. in the end. Okay, par for me. 
Take the hole, one up in the match. Third hole is a par five that dog legs massively to the right. Like if 12 o'clock's the target, as in the fairway, the flag is at like two o'clock over there to the right. I think a good drive, you'll knock it straight over that corner. Um, but I'm just gonna see if I can just knock one down that left side and maybe hit a slight little fade. I think that's gonna work out. Kind of. Caught a tree. Should be oh. okay. Yeah. Line are you going on, Pete? I'm gonna go basically just to the left of the dead tree. Presume it's dead. Um, and then just let it, hopefully let it drift a touch. If it's carried, it's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, time will tell, but it yeah. looks really good. I think from well memory, done, that should be good. I think that's perfect. Nice but drive. We are getting a little bit older. Really good drive. Could be thinking of a different course. Okay, two not great drives there from me and Pete on three. I missed strike mine and actually it's fallen down here. Pete actually hit as well. It was a bit further on, just still in the, in the trouble. So par five. It just needs to chip a, a three iron down there, get it back in play. Get past the corner. Hmm, tried to do, take too much loft off that, annoyingly. It's a bit of a weird one, this. I feel I've hit three good tee shots and been in trouble every time. I'm gonna have to chip out. Just basically through this gap, just a nine iron, just finoodle it out onto the fairway. Sigma? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. picking place in anyway, just... Better done than I did, well done. Okay, uh, this isn't ideal. 260 yards left of the pin. Um, I've still got to navigate these trees. I've got to hit a big high fade. Pete's in a good spot, but he's still gonna have about 240 left into the flag. I feel like I've got to, I've got to attack here. I've got to go three wood. Just try and hit the biggest fade. There's a, there's a set of um, almost barns in the distance there in the field stables i'm going to go with that and try and hit the biggest fade i can possibly hit fade cut cut it's about i think that's okay you know yeah yeah and that's that's pretty good considering bit of a funky get... flight that it's what bit of a funky flight i think the uh, spin uh, would started fading it and then the wind i think also hit it and straightened it up a little bit but I'm not displeased with that. I think that's in a, a decent spot, to be honest. 217 yards left. I've got four iron. I don't really know how far these clubs go yet, but four, oh, this will be a hell of a birdie. I'm just going to aim center of the green. Obviously Rick's missed left. Deep breaths. I don't think it's your best hit, is it? But yeah, kind of one of them. A little bit skinny. A little bit skinny, but actually, that's not worked out too bad. Okay, so we both actually hit not bad third shots there, considering. Pete's just up here at the front. Nice little chip up the green. I'm level with my bag there. A bit more fade, and that, I reckon I, I could have actually got that on the green. It's going to be an up and down competition, though, for par. Okay, so lob wedge. <laughs> just going <laughs> to... Pop it around the front of the green. I think it should run on a touch. Greens are nice for this time of year, to be fair. Wow. Yeah, definitely firmer than I would have expected. That really surprised me, that. I feel like I learned a lot from that last shot Pete just hit, because I was hoping to do something similar, land it on the green and then run it down, but I must admit, after seeing Pete's ball then bounce up, I feel like I might play something a little bit flatter faced. Land it short and almost run it up. That is a wayward golf shot, Rick. <laughs> that was a wayward golf shot, pal. Okay, that was a silly little shot. Don't know quite what I was trying to do there, but I definitely didn't execute it. Down the hill, falling from the right. Yeah, nice pace. Mm, okay. okay. In for six. 
Right, so I've over... I've overread every put so far. I'm just going to take a little bit off this one. Just outside right. Boom. Great putt. Great putt. Well done, pal. Cheers, bud. Bloody pal. Wow. Whoa. You can feel the intensity in the match when I'm fist pumping a 13 foot putt for par on a par five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, fourth hole, par four, slight dog leg right, 318 yards. The match now is all square. Um, it looks like it's kind of one of those ones. I think in the summer you could have a swipe at the green, but with it still being not hot and not warm and been very wet, I guess yeah. it's a positional play. I think I've, I think I've learnt my lesson. Whenever like first instincts drivers, just just chill for a sec. So I'm going to hit a four iron basically in between the bunker and the last tree on the left to leave myself a wedge in. These wedges feel good actually. Stop hooking. Yeah, it should be fine. A little bit safe, but it's fine. Got a bit of it's got a Scheffler foot slide in there. So I'm trying to keep my left hip further back when I hit. And the only way I can physically do that is by Scotty Scheffler the hell out of it. Can't do anything in the middle. It's either that or that. Okay, I'm going to go three iron. Just put it just like to the right of Pete's ball. That'll do. Yeah, nice shot. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, very good. Really nice. Nice shot. Feeling a bit more. They're just, I feel like the, the, I love the clubs. I'm just surprised maybe by the outcome of the first few shots. I'm a bit like, hold on a minute. Hey, listen, that's, that's how most of us play golf, to be honest, Rick. Nothing to do with me, obviously. Well, blow me down. That is a fairway in regulation, baby. Things are looking up. 111 yards, a little bit into the draft, go this way, obviously I don't know how far these clubs go yet, looks like there's a lot of room kind of right at the pin, so I'm just going to hit half a pitching wedge just to the right of the pin and hopefully it'll spin left a bit, there's a bank there. Spit. Yeah, nice judged. It's almost like what I said I'd do. Oh my god, can I uh can I like play golf now? <laughs> okay, 96 yards to the pin. Slightly elevated green on this touch. Wet, so you should be able to fly it almost all the distance. My sand wedge 54 degrees in hand. So a nice one of these. Mm, travel a bit. Travel a touch. Spin. That's okay. Yeah, distance was all right. Oh, hey, look at us. That's two greens and two uh, fairways <laughs> in regulation there. <laughs> ah. Okay, two opportunities here for birdie. On number four, um, it's got a little bit more slope than I think Pete will have, just being on this slight Mackenzie green. You know, we both pitched into the bank with a bit of, little bit of spin. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. I'm having a, I'm having a good ganders. I'm having a good look at this. I forgot okay. what I was, I forgot what downhill, I was right to left. It's funny because from here it kind of looks uphill, but... Yeah, you kind of going across the slope there, I think. Roll out. It was right in the middle too. Take it away. It was right in the middle, had the line. Just couldn't commit hitting it hard enough. Yeah, it was a bit of a tricky one. I think it's pretty flat really overall. Not moved. Harsh mate. Good roll. Oh. Four. Whole halved. Match remains. Literally all did not move. Fifth hole, par four, 407 yards. It's pretty much just dead straight down. The flag's in the distance there. Um, I don't think there's a lot to consider on this hole. It's just pretty straight, isn't it? It's just 
There is a road that cuts through the middle of it, but I think it's miles down there. Gives a bit of a added speed. Yeah, you know, if you can if you can drive it down to this section, you're only gonna have a hundred yards or so into the green. Just gonna obviously fly those bunkers, which should do only three, 232. All right, so driver. It's almost gone where I've aimed it so far. Perfect. Bloody perfect, Peter. Wow, I think I might have just fall in love with a golf club. I mean, you, there's, a, there's a stripe down the middle of the fairway, and I don't think you're a blade right of it or a blade left of it. I, I've just won straightest drive. <laughs> that is like middled as well. Straightest drive ever. Well, I don't want to brag, but... Yeah, really good drive. Okay, come on then, Burner. Picked you for a reason. Not feeling the strike of it at all yet. That's actually okay. Yeah, it's not like going crazy offline, though. No, I just... It's funny because it, it was a driver from... Historically, I always used to think had a decent amount of forgiveness. Mm. But I feel like anything off centre, the first few shots have not been great. Anyway, we'll find the middle soon enough. It's fine. Okay, you know what? I'm actually very, very, very impressed with the missed strike there. That was a dreadful strike on my driver. And I'm only a few yards off the fairway and actually it's still okay for distance. Um, 164 yards, that back pin. I don't feel like flying that pin is a good option. So I'm gonna go nine iron and try and nuke it and see if we can just put it between that tree that's had its limbs chopped off and the flag closer to the flag, ideally. It's a great strike. Get back there, ball. Go on then. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah. Good, good distance control. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. <laughs> oh, right. We've got 123 yards left in. I've got my wedge. I'm going to aim it basically just to the left of that trim tree. Bit of draw, bit of spin left. Just go straight out. Sit down. Oh, that's huge. So I've, I've actually hit a really nice nine iron into the hole there. I was a little bit scared about going big. That's why I took one club less. Pete has gone big which really surprised me. I actually stood up here near the green, expecting that pin, to, that ball to be landing right next to the pin. For him to have flown it 15 yards long is a real shock to me. And he's got a, a tricky little up and down now. Blasted that over the back of the green. Very amateur How mistake. How far were you? Attack, sorry. How far were you? Uh, one, two, three. That, I don't know, that 54 seems a bit strong. So, gonna go back to my trusty lob wedge. This has got a... Uh, Bit of a workout today. Thinking, it's going to land this just left of that pin, and just let it release out. Oh, it's just bounced right. Gorgeous touch, mate. <sighs> Must admit, I kind of fancied that. It just came off a bit straight. Okay, we've got a birdie opportunity here to win the hole. It's only kind of 15 feet or so. This is actually going to be pretty fast. Yeah, kind Falls. of down, bit down there slowly. Yeah, it's, it's a really interesting green because it's, you'd think on this top level it'd be fairly flat, but it really starts to drop down. Uh, it's a little bit right to left, not loads. I'm going to give it a touch more just because I envision trickling this into the hole rather than smashing it in. Okay. Birdie. Oh, it's just turned away for you. Difficult. Kind isn't of, it? Yeah. If you if you give it more pace, it'd have been good. But like the, you risk, said, the risk is you slam it four yeah. foot past. It's a well played hole, mate. In for par. All right. Play a little bit less break. So right edge. Wow, it's gone so quick. Pete. So fast. Pete. That would have been a really, really nice up and down as well from there, but just got to trust that line. I win the hole with a four, back to one up. Okay, six hole, par three, gorgeous looking hole. I do, I'm certainly partial to a short par three. Mm. 106 yards, pins back, to, back right. Just depends how the ball's going to land into this green. The last green was quite soft and stopped straight away. You don't want anything spinning too much here. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason it's going to be short. There's going to be something going on up there, I think. 
course design wise like, I reckon if this lands short it's going to spin off okay a little gap wedge 50 degree three quarter swing come back in a come touch back. Uh, Mike there's a slope there catch it and oh don't oh yeah cool I think it's all right. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Just a tiny, I don't know. tiny bit right. All right, so I'm going to go... We've got 54 or a wedge, so I'm going to go wedge. Just half a swing, trying to get it beyond the pin. And a little spin back. Come on, hole in one. Is this your hole in one dream, Pete? Not quite, but not bad. Okay, just off the side of the green, not terrible for distance control. Um, just pushed it a smidgen, but I've got a slippery little downhill put here. The pin is on a, on a slight slope. If it goes past the flag, it could, could end up as far away as Pete's. So I kind of need to drop this one in the hole. Yeah, take it away. It's not a bad effort, really. I know, I, to be honest. <laughs> wasn't a million miles away what I was almost trying to do with yeah, it. Yeah, it's not bad though. Anything past the hole then could have easily escaped me. However, Pete's got a lovely put straight back up the hill. Tricky one, it's gonna break left and then uh, break left and I think it's gonna go back right at the end. Just a touch. Just trust, let's just trust these greens a bit more. For birdie and to get it back to all square. Go. Oh, it was right in the heart. Yeah, well, it's just straight back up that slope you were scared of coming down, really. <laughs> right in the heart. Okay, through six, and one up. Holding on to this nicely. Be nice to get just one more. Get, see if we can get two up through nine. It'd be a nice little cushion. But I've, I feel like I've got through the first few holes somewhat unscathed, considering the way I've been into it. Feeling all right, feeling confident. Seventh hole here, par four, dog leg left trouble down the right you kind of got to go to take it over that tree and leave yourself a full shot in slightly worrying me that Pete's got an iron in his hand and I've got driver what am I not seeing here you just got to play your own game you got to play how you see the hole okay oh not enjoying this driver at all I feel like I'm not quite squaring it up very well annoyingly that's you, in the trees but we saw it down you can kind of see on that swing it was a bit you're a bit tentative with it i just didn't know quite committed on what line i wanted to go down so i'm going to go four iron. i'm just going to aim like basically dead center in the fairway if it draws a touch that's okay just want to leave himself a wedge in wow that was drawn go 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 <laughs> I thought I'd come join you. I thought make, we'd be sociable. Make it interesting. Oh, missing a fairway with an iron. Peter Finch, that is an absolute disgrace. Right, this isn't a great tee shot. Driver, I need to loosen up with driver. I need to just let it go. Rip, rip it and rip it. I'm trying to guide it a bit too much. Um, I'm gonna, not gonna lie to you, this isn't ideal. I'm absolutely well and truly in the trees. There are options, but not many, and they're all pretty difficult. The good thing is the whole fairway slopes that way. I just need to hit something with the greatest hook ever. I'm gonna go with a five iron. I'm actually gonna, there's a gap here, but I'm actually gonna go through the one on the right, pretty much over Pete's ball, and then really try and sling one. The thing I've just noticed is a tree root just in my line. Ah, that's actually going to stop me playing that shot. Oh, damn. This, just in the way, is going to stop me playing that shot. So I need to hit it so low. So I'm going to have to go through the tougher gap and hit a smaller draw. Hold on to your hats, everyone. Well, that has done remarkably well. Where's it got to? Uh, it's probably about 20 yards short of the green. That was really unlucky. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> it was. If that wouldn't have hit the tree, if that wouldn't have hit that branch, that would have been absolutely epic. 
<laughs> you went that through. You went. You went that through the middle of a tree. Right. Well, I'm gonna kind of try and hit the same shot, and then again, just hope for a bit of a miracle. I'm going. I've got this gap here, but it requires like a huge hook. So it's just literally a bit of a, a, just a bit of a hit and hope, really. Got to believe that it's going to happen. Either that, or I just try and go through the branches. But okay, I got one sixty through that gap hook. Now that was unlucky. That was unlucky. <laughs> 64. It's kind of tricky this one. You've got to trust uh gotta trust the yardage because it looks a lot closer. The pin is uh like one of those gigantic, like see it from three miles away types of pins. So it's just half a lob wedge. A little bit beyond the pin and right. So it trickle down, come on. Oh, what a golf shot. Thank you. What a golf shot. Wow. Yeah. I think me and this lob wedge could have something special. Okay, Pete's hit an absolute world in there. Lovely, lovely touch. I'm 60 yards away. Anything next to Pete's I'll be delighted with. But I feel like I need to get up and down for par. Hop. You like those apples? So, so far this hole, Rick has hooked it into a tree, gone through the middle of a tree, just plain fatted his approach and ended up about three foot away. I'd give it him, but like you said, I don't like them apples. They taste bitter. They are not ripe Granny Smiths to me. Yeah, yours is good, Peter. Thank you. Okay, not a lot in this, pretty much dead straight up the hill for par and to halve the hole after some tree trouble. <laughs> yeah, nice pop. Thank wow. you. Two up and downs. What Two <laughs> very solid up and downs. What just happened? Eighth hole, par four. Probably about 400 yards off this tee today. There is a collection of bunkers that's right in the middle of the fairway, um, which are about 300 yards to be able to get to, maybe 290. Um, driver's not been my best friend so far, so I'm going to rip a three wood down there. Yeah, I don't think it's a driver on this one anyway, to be honest with you. An interesting shot. Perfectly in the fairway. Yeah. <laughs> that was an interesting golf shot. Yeah. <laughs> that was another tactical lack of backspin there. Wait. I might have just skied the club from golf bidder. <laughs> Sorry, golf bidder. This is a G35 wood with a nuclear shaft in it. It looks great behind the ball though, I have to say. Just to the right side of the fairway, come on. Oh, that's so toey. Oh, lap of the gods over that. Yeah, I saw it down. I oh. actually think you're okay. I think you yeah. passed the trees. Far enough left to be okay. Oh, man. That was so toey. Okay, 205 yards left of the flag here. <laughs> Absolutely bloody miles away. Um, I'm right between six iron and five iron. Again, that pin is right at the back, so I don't want to air mail the green. And I'm in a nice lie in the rough. I feel like I might get a flyer. So I'm going to go six iron. So even land it right into the middle of the green. Straighten up. Straighten up. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. That's okay. on the back edge. Yeah, it kind of got beyond that first bunker, I think. I think we should be putting anyway. So yeah, I just feel like, I don't know. These irons are just a little bit upright and I just... I keep feeling like they're going to go a bit left. I'm fighting that left shot a touch too much, but um, we've managed to negotiate that as close to the green as we could. Pete's just in the uh, in the rough area here on the left. Got past these two big trees, but 
we'll still have some trees to contend with. Right. Now, I think in a comp, I'll be getting a, uh, a rules official over to get a drop out of here, but it'll make it all the more amazing when I get this close. 160. Hmm. It's kind of tricky because we've got this tree in the way. I think it's a nine iron. It just depends if I've got the kind of height to get over. Might have to just hit a little draw. Actually, no, I think I've got the height. I think I'm going to go straight for this. It's 160. Pretend like the tree's not there. That twig at the end just nudged it. Oh, that would have been really good. <laughs> just at the end. Ah. Oh. Man. I need something. I need something. A bit of inspiration. It's got a mid-range bunker shot, like over a corner. Like that. Like a nature documentary around it. It's got to get low. So this slide underneath I thought you played that really nice mate and look at not bad not bad okay so I'm just off just off the side of the green actually really solid six iron um, just in the in the fringe so unfortunately I won't be able to get putter on it albeit I would have loved to have done <laughs> I've got three options I've got a gap wedge I've also just got the old faithful little A-time. I think I'm just going to play a very straightforward A-time bump and run. Obviously nothing to get over. Just got to roll it up that hill. Get it, get it. I think the trick is around here to get it on the putting surface and get it rolling. Oh, Ricky. Touch like a baby elephant. Right, so, got this just moving a little bit left to right. I think you came down a bit of a slope there. Dude, the nice putt here. Settle me down. Come on, just outside the left. How did that not move? <laughs> Jeez, I thought you had it. How did that not move? I thought you had it, it's good. Okay, for a par and to win the hole, up the hill, right to left. It started, then it yeah, moved back. Yeah, didn't break either. But it started, and then it moved back. Oh. I know, I saw it. It's all right. <laughs> I'm with you. Listen, I'm with you on this. That's frustrating, that one, because that was a good port. Right, one up through eight. Should have done a lot better then. That, that hole was in my hands. Straightforward chip off to the side of the green. I should have been up and down for a par and to win the hole there. But one up onto 90. OK, ninth hole, par four. Slight dog leg to the right. It's not a long one actually, it's only probably playing about 340. Um, there's a couple of bunkers down there on the right that you can definitely fly it over. I'm just gonna pop a three iron down there, hit the fairway and then wedge it on. Pete might be playing a more aggressive option. He's pulling a head cover, which we all like to see. <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need something. This is a pillow fight, mate. Kind of tapping at each other right now. Perfect. Yeah, shot. Yep. So yeah, I think with a driver, I can basically just chop off that corner. If I was hitting my driver a bit better, I think I would have hit driver too, but I think I have just got to keep driving the bag for a few holes when I, when I don't need it. This is a hole I don't need it on. It's got a green line, that. Is that good? Uh, I think it'll be all right. Nice drive, mate. Crushed it. Yeah, just feels a bit awkward when I can't see where it's landing. <laughs> but I don't think there's any water there. Okay. Second shot here after finding the fairway. Very nice. I must admit that was a good three iron. 120 yards left to that front left pin. I feel like the green's sloping that way a little bit as well. So if, if I pitch it middle of the green, Put a little bit of sauce on it and hopefully it gets closer to the hole. Full gap wedge from here. Spin really hard left. 
Oh, spit on that. Wow. I mean, it did what I, it did what I asked it to do. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I had a lot of spin on it. This is an old wedge, SM5 wedge, and it managed to have that much backspin on it. That was ridiculous. Right, we've got uh, got 80 yards uh, left to go. By the way, the Rick's thin span massively to the left. I'm guessing there's a bit of a slope. So it's gonna go lob wedge, just right at the pin. Shot. Yeah, not bad, just kinda of flared up. It didn't quite kinda of pop through the air as I wanted. However, it is pin high. And you know what pin high shows? It's a sign of quality ball striking. That had a lot of spin. Pitched here and screwed right back. I wanted a bit of less spin on it, but that was a bit too much. Anyway, we've got a nice uphill putt for Birdie. Pete's at a lovely shot from where he was. He's on a bit more of a slope, so his putt will be more right to left, where mine's a little bit more up the hill. Hopefully, a good couple of chances for Birdie. Let's go. It's it, Rick. Make it away, mate. Make it away. Ah, oh, Rick. Just, it never kind of got rolling, really. It's kind of difficult, though. Obviously, a little bit slow, so you've got to give him a whack, but... Okay, for Birdie and to finish the front, front nine, all square. But this has got some... Swing! It's got some slope on it, pal. Just trust your read. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> goodness me. Right. <laughs> Whole halved, match after nine, I'm one up. Lots of golf left. Wow. But first, a nice, very nice looking halfway house. Can I have a look at what flapjacks you've got? Yeah, sure. So I'm gonna get two of these. Yep. I'm gonna get wow, we're healthy. a banana. Wonderful, thank you. Ah, it's how tempting is that, by the way? Unfortunately, no sausage rolls, but that's not a bad yeah. thing, because the way, the demise of my golf since the sausage roll recently has been quite alarming, so bana bananas, God, we've changed. God, we've really changed. We, we have to now. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting closer to 50. Yeah, them sausage rolls, they uh, hang around after you've had one, if you know what I mean. Tenth hole, par three, up the hill, 182 yards playing 192. Uh, looking at the aerial shot, left of that pin isn't your friend, so there's a tree that's just behind to the right hand side, I'm gonna go in between the flag and that. That's in the hole. Big hole. I think it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> that was a very early call. <laughs> Way too early on that one. It was a nice shot though. I think I am just slightly left of the pin, but on the green I'm thinking. Yeah, I think so. The way it bounced kind of like took a little kick left as well. I'm gonna go same uh, same stick, same type of shot. Hopefully, I'm gonna start it a little bit further right. That is in the hole. That's a really really good golf shot. Oof! Right down it, pal. We'll have to go and have a look when we get up there. No need. We're just going into London right now. Okay, two really nice shots there actually. Mine's just just off the side of the green but perfect for distance. Pete's was bang in line with the flag, but just a bit short. This is gonna be a slippery one. I've got this bank that's just coming off the left. It's gonna fall quite a bit from left to right. It's slightly uphill at the end. What time yeah. that is, don't you? Birdie bells. Birdie time. <laughs> I must admit, you wait a little bit too long, the birdie bell stopped. Ah, <laughs> uh, tap in three. It was bang on line, just needs to be a bit more aggressive. As soon as you hit that, I was like, like it has to go in. Has to. All right. A little bit right to left up the slope. <sighs> Peter. Really? I really, really thought you had that, pal. <laughs> really? Okay. Really thought you've had that. You know what? I'm kind of thinking between me and this course, it's got a little bit personal. Okay. <laughs> That's the way they're going to play it. That's absolutely fine. 380 yard par four. So I remember this is a par five. 
There's a couple of bunkers down there, about 260 to get to. I'm just gonna hit three wood, leave myself just short of that bunker with what should be a fairly short ironing. Hold up. Dig your feet in. It's okay. You just spends while that tree's doing, I suppose. All right, come on. We'll thread this driver right up that side. That crow needs to move from the middle of the fairway because it's about to get one on the noggin. It did move. Yeah. Literally as you hit it. It knew. Great drive, mate. Really solid. A1. Okay, that was a really bad three wood. Couldn't miss left on here. Needed to be on that fairway. I've actually hit it a decent distance, to be fair. I struck it great, I just pulled it a touch. I've now left myself 130 yards. <clears throat> but I've literally got to go round this tree. I'm gonna have to play something low and almost try and run it up. Luckily, the contours of the green are helping me a little bit. Just gotta stay right at that bunker and then hopefully the contour should bring it round. I'm gonna chip like a six iron. Jump it. Oh, wasn't a million miles away. I just overdrew it, unfortunately. If it had jumped the bunker, I would have got very lucky, but just in the bunker. So I'm gonna go with a, it's under an eight, but I'm gonna go with a pitching wedge because these greens have been spinning so much i'm just gonna have half a swing literally aim it like where that big tall well, where it is that big tall tree behind the green and just try and pitch it in there let it let it scamper down that way come on good shot here too bad not too bad at all so yeah i just found myself in this green side bunker not too terrible, to be honest with you. Um, I just need to land this close to the flag. I've not hit a bunker shot with these wedges, so I don't fully know how it's going to react. Sit. Pretty good. Just came out a little bit hot than I expected. Yeah, every one of these greens has had something, hasn't it? It's a yeah. slope. Right where the pin is. Not any flat Not ones yet. Flattest greens. It'd be great to just hold her. Go on, Pete, for birdie. Let's get it back to all square. <laughs> ah, should have left the pin in. I've got to be honest with you, it's a good job it hit the old pal. I might have missed a green. <laughs> okay, par put now just from down the hill. A little bit sloped to the right. Come on, Rick, knock it in. Hmm. That Take literally it didn't move an inch. Right, for Pan to win the hole, get it back to all square. Yep, well played, mate. Cheers, bud. Longer than you wanted, I'm <laughs> sure. Ah. But... Well, as soon as you said it after we said, oh, if they were a bit quicker, I was like, I'm really glad they're not quicker because I'd have been playing the bunker shot. Right, it's back to all square through 11 holes. It's heating up. It's heating up. That was a big putt for Pete there. That was a big putt. If he would have, uh, if the three jabbed that to half the hole, I think that would have really stung. But he didn't. He clutched up and managed to box it. Right, what we got here, Pete? I've, not, I've actually not played these, this back nine. So it's 325, but it's kind of like downhill, a little bit downwind. I think we could probably just about get there. I like how I say we. <laughs> you can just about get there. Well, I did. Well, I, okay. I mean, it's pretty open. Like, if you do want to have a dig at a driver. What, what's your actual line? Just so, straight down. Yeah, so you see like the last bunker on the right. Yeah. Uh, bunker on the left. Yeah. The green is kind of in the middle of that, almost like in the valley of trees. Okay. Just hang on. Not a Scooby. No, there's trees down there. It's just depending on the lie. Okay, there's a couple of bunkers down there, about 220, 230. So I'm just going to pop a four iron down, leave myself. A nice hundred yards left in. It'll do. Yeah, I'll be further back than I wanted to be. Slightly heavy, but in play. My four iron wasn't the best struck in the world, but actually loads of fairway. Uh, not far off where I probably meant to hit it anyway. Uh, I'm just gonna have a quick wander down there. I'm gonna be 
about 100 yards, I reckon. Just have a quick walk down to the pin. Pete, I think he's in trouble. I think he's in big trouble. Okay, 108 yards. Slightly downhill. You want to be kind of just long and right at that flag. So I'm going to hit a 54 degree wedge. Just hit a nice full one. Should be perfect. Yep, should be in the middle of the green. Slightly right, but that's the safe miss. So I've had to take a line of sight relief from, uh, from being in the middle of a bush. So this is gonna be my third shot over these trees. Maybe about 80 yards. No idea, but I like the number. Okay, long range put, longer than I wanted actually. Oh. Oof. It was a great effort. Oof. I wasn't going for it, to be honest with you, Pete. <laughs> I was trying to lag it up. Maybe that's what you need to tell yourself. Well, this is for a four. I've got to feel this has to go in, but why not? Eh? Stranger thought, things have happened. You thought the flag before was big. <laughs> that is a big, big flag. All right, come on. It's a little bit of left to right in the end. That's uh, actually really bad. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Well, I'll have a quick put at it. You gave it a go, mate. Yeah, that was a uh, very poor mental preparation. Just before you're about to hit a putt, like if the last words through your head are, just give it a bit more. It's probably not worth it. Pete's now putting for five. Yeah, pick it up, mate. Oh, I'm lucky, mate. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Not a terrible tee shot, it's just like a whole kind of bucket of poo, to be honest with you. But it's fine, I'm I fine with I that. I didn't want to say it. Okay, after 12, I've gone back to one up. Okay, par three, 13th hole. 153 yards, pin looks like it's tucked in that left corner. So I think middle of the green is the, is the safe option. I my calf a bit there. You all right? Yeah, just my calf, just cramped up a little bit. <laughs> the athletes that we are. Right, I'm gonna go same club. I'll let the biggest plane in the history of the world go over. It's on it. Yeah, nice. Yes. Really, really good. Okay, so both kind of half a club short there. Mine pitched not bad, but then spun off the green. Pete's was pitched on the green and also spun off. Um, I'm literally six inches off the green. We are playing preferred lies today, so that's why I'm marking it and being able to line it up. Okay, up the hill, right to left. Quite a big slope as well, actually. Oh, I've not struck it. Ah. My first bad strike on a putt today. Just didn't quite middle it, didn't get it rolling. Yeah, tricky up that slope as well. Distance control has been really good at the moment. That's the first time I just didn't strike middle. Okay, Pete just off the side of the green, wedge in hand. He's very good from these shots. He'll be looking to hold this. Wow, first bounce by the way. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, much longer par putt than I wanted to here. Up the hill, right to left. Got to be positive, knock it in the back of the cup. Oh, it didn't break again. It's tricky, isn't it? Because they do like look I like they're going to go, but I take right. a moment here. I give it a lot of good putts there that just haven't quite dropped. Yeah, well played. A bit of back and forth on those last couple of holes. Isn't it just? Back to all square through 13. Oh. <laughs> could, have got, could have gone a number of different ways there, those last few holes. It's kind of like, I don't know, we're just kind of like packing at each other here. We need a bit of a run of birdies, just a confidence going a touch. Just not 
quite showing my best stuff and I think that's what it takes. I think if either of us just like turn it on for a few holes, like well, that's what's going to win it. Because at the moment we're just trading kind of pars and bogeys. Not good enough. I'm so sorry. I've got a friend with me today. Come on, fella. Fourteenth hole, par five, uh, five hundred and thirty yards off this back tee. Right, I'm guessing we're at the marker post. At the marker, I think it goes round to the right, so you can probably be just inside it on the right. Nailed. Ah, oh, welcome back to the party, driver. Nailed. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, really good ball, mate. All right, the driver. We had so much promise when we started today. Show me, show me what you're made of. That's better. Nice drive. Oh, a little mate. bit healy still, but it's fine. Yeah, last last few holes, I feel like it's been a bit back and forth, really. Obviously, I was one up through nine. Ten could have gone either way, end up being obviously all square. Eleven, bad tee shot, put myself in trouble. Pete needed to hold a good putt to win that hole, fair dues. Obviously, at 12, I won after Pete finding the trouble. Last hole, I think in hindsight, it was into wind that I that uh, par three. I should have hit eight iron instead of nine. Gone for getting it back up there. So a little bit frustrated probably with the last hole. But apart from that, I feel quite happy with the way I've played. Certainly not setting the, the world alight, but it's match play, isn't it? It's all about playing your competitor. Um be nice. Be nice just to get back up again in the next couple of holes. Um and see if we can close this match out. Okay, after two, what we thought was actually really good drives, I'm just in the rough here, Pete's about 10 yards further on, just in the rough as well. That fairway really kicks round, so you could have definitely gone over that marker, but either way, this isn't terrible. Okay, this is everything I've got, plus a little bit more. F I'll hit that good. Oh, I passed it. No. I actually did that land in the bunker, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> God, I hit that good. Oh. It'd have been nice if it bounced left. If it had bounced left. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I could have had a bit me quiet for a few holes if that had bounced left. So we've got 250 left. A little bit of ball below my feet, wind off the left. So I'm going to start it at those kind of left traps. Just hopefully it drifts. Come on, baby. Towards the left ones. Keep coming, keep coming. Oh, wow, what a golf shot. What a shot, mate. Well oh, done. Cheers, it on the green. Awesome <laughs> shot. I knew I'd like this club. Really good, mate. What's, that? What's not to love? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like round two ring, it? <laughs> okay just off the side of the green I could, honestly couldn't hit that three wood any better just faded off to the right hit the bunker that's actually having some work done to it at the moment bounced out to here Pete's actually thought it was on the green but it's just trickled over the back both nice opportunities to get up and down for birdie Ah, oh, that's annoying. Rick, Rick, Rick. Been chipping well recently as well, that Did is annoying. I do not think okay. I'd see that, Rick, today. Take two. Been chipping it pretty well today. Mm. It's hard to see. It's not nice to see that. Simmer, 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 simmer. Ah, that is annoying. Unlucky. Sorry, everyone. Been really, honestly, I've been really feeling comfortable over those chips recently. Damn. All right, so, still got a job to do here. Eh? So maybe landing this just on the surface. Oh yeah, nicely done. Very nice. That's how you chip it. And want to tell me how that stopped so quick? That was online, that was all. Right. Okay, need to hold this to put some pressure on Pete. It's a par now. Just inside his marker. Oh, 
Pick it up, pal. No, not keep it. Pick it up. Okay. Takes the hole with a birdie. Goes one up. Thank you. First time in the match. Yeah. Feels, feels good. Feels okay. 15th hole, par four, 441 yards. The tides have turned the first time in this match. Peter Finch is one up. One up with four to play. Uh, 441 yards, it's <laughs> a decent tonk. It's, it's a proper, proper golf hole. Um, kind of looks like the miss is left here. So I'm going to aim down the middle, let the wind drift it at all, but hopefully it stays off. Wind. Yeah, right, I think. Oof. I go straight into it. Right to the bottom of it, I think. I don't think it went deep in, but... I mean, that went... That was flying. Wow. Okay, I'm going to try and favour the left. <laughs> <laughs> there is another hole out there as well, should point no, out. I'm just going to go straight down, the, straight at the flag. No, 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 no. Get down, ball. That is also really in trouble. <laughs> Okay, I've had to take a penalty drop. It's in the trees and couldn't play it, so I've had to drop back. Pete's also in the bush, I had to drop out as well. Uh, it's not gonna be easy for me. Uh, what a silly tee shot. He was in trouble. Why didn't I just put it down play, in play? Anyway, we're both back at the same score. I've basically got to hit a big cutty five iron. Ah, terrible strike. Just when I didn't need it. Yeah, one four eight after a kind of drop just out to the side. It was just underneath these. I'm absolutely covered in pollen. So I'm just gonna try and chip fade a seven, kind of like around the edge of, uh, around the edge of this bush, just trying to finish it right of the pin if possible. Ah. Held onto it. That's pin eye, not the uh, not the end of the world. Okay, fourth shot, 98 yards. Need to put this close. Get good. Spin. Ah, oh. oh, just dug its feet in. Damn. Sat down like a tired old dog, doesn't it? Okay. Well, this is a fruity one. Actually looks really inviting. It's got to land this just on the green, let it roll out. Be an all-time par. Oh, lovely. Pulled it. <sighs> Making this whole hard work, I'm afraid. Thought I was going to spin back off this bank, but it didn't, it held up. Okay, big left to right put down the hill. It's going to be fast after the hole, speed's key. Always a touch low. Oh, simmer. Okay, dead straight up the hill. Pick it up, pal. Oh, what a disaster hole. Oh, okay. From being one up to being two down. Like that. Three holes to play. So we've got 143 yards here. Now, generally, the greens have been spinning a lot. So. I'm going to take a 99, which I think is about 150. Just try and get it a little bit right of the pin. And hopefully it spins back left. Fucking good. Oh, it's at the back. Wow, it's a lot of spin though. Yeah, it's gone a bit deep that pump. Okay. <sighs> Important this now. Important, I have to win this hole. I don't think it's a full nine iron, I think it's a little one. Gotta get it close, gotta make birdie. Stay there, ball. Stay Hold right there, ball. Stay line. right there, ball. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what a spin. Yeah. When was the last time you had, to, you had to play like this much spin on the greens? It's like a whole new skill. 
I think it's because it's, it's hard to know if it's going to spin or not as well. Oh, that had so much spin on it. Really didn't expect that much spin at all. Um, it's come off the front of the green. Probably need another 10 yards and then spin. Okay, definitely need two put here. No more, ideally less. Up the hill, braking left all the way. Travel. Yeah, go oh. for pace. Thought it did have a little chance halfway. Uh, take it away. Thank you. Yeah, I just thought halfway then. Do you want it in or out? Uh, leave it in, I think. Halfway then, I thought this has got half a chance. Pete's now got a two putt. Big swinger left. One putt to win the match. In fact, this is the first match winning putt right here on 16. This is to win long range birdie putt. Two putt means he's dormy two with two to play. Means he can't lose. Three putt makes it very interesting. Put for the match. I will have to see it. The pace I will again. have to see that in, I'm afraid. Hell I know it's swing. the same length as my putt, but I've got, I've got to see this in. I need every little bit of help I can now. Yeah, well done, mate. Well done, easily done. Have to see it, I'm afraid. Two up, two to play, Peter Finch. Well done, mate. Okay, this is it. Two big important holes here. This is not over yet, this is not over. 17th, he's two up with two to play granted. Par four, 440 yards. I'm gonna allow a little bit more wind after that par five, just pushed it a bit right. I'm gonna left edge. Oh. Wow. Well out of that. Oof. I'm gonna take a wild thrusting stab in the dark, so it's not very good over there. I'm gonna be uh, exceptionally hopeful and say he does actually open up a little bit over there. The rest of Surrey is that way, so when it went was that way. It's like a two for one course vlog, this. Right, well that's made my club decision a little bit easier. I'm just gonna rifle the three iron down there. I need to be on the fairway. I need to be on fairway, I need to hit the green. Gotta do what I gotta do. Gotta do what I gotta do. Pete has found his golf ball somehow in the in the woods. Anyway, won't change my decision. I've got left side of the fairway, left side of the green in my brain, and just rifle the four iron straight at it. Kick in, kick in. Honestly, perfect. Exactly exactly where I was trying to hit that. Really happy with that result. Hello there. <laughs> We're going on an adventure. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm probably not gonna be able to go for it. It's a little steep on the dash. Just try and trap it, knock it out. Yeah, well out, mate. I'll take that, wow. Sensational. One, five, seven. Right, stick all my multi clubs away. 157 should just be a solid 99. Nine. Oh, if I get up and down here, Rick will actually lose his mind. Oh, travel hard. Just didn't get it. Just didn't get it. Oh. Right, this is. Uh... This is full drama. <laughs> it really is here on 17. I'm just off the green here. It was, it was, it, honestly, it was exactly where I meant to hit it. It was, it was near perfect, four iron from 220 yards. And that sounds daft that I'm not on the green, but there was so much trouble right. I wanted to go to here. Two putts wins this hole for me. No, it doesn't. There's no guarantee. Pete's putting for par, I'm putting for birdie. There is no guarantee. Jeez, if I two put this, he could still hold it to win the match. I actually think it's just on you, Pete. It's pretty consistent green, this one, though, and I don't think there's a, I don't think there's a single put on here that's not going to be huge left or right. Do not need any point to tell me that. Whoop. 
port boy. Now, looking at Rick's port. I think a two putt for me, does it? For the most incredible par <laughs> ever, ever seen. Like, I've no right to, mate, but honestly, I kind of fancy this. Jeez. What a break, oh my God. Oh my God, good putt, mate. <laughs> That's like... Good putt. Wow. Oh, we're not even in the... What would these be like in the summer? Right, Pete's hit a really nice shot there, to be fair to him. He's got that little uphill for bogey. I'm putting for birdie, two putts wins the hole for me. I need to stay in the, that mindset. <laughs> Crazy. Good putt. <laughs> Crazy. I really thought... I really thought I hadn't hit it hard enough. Halfway, I was like, oh no, but. I really thought I hadn't hit it hard enough. Okay, to win the hole and to take it down the last in true golf bit of fashion, up the hill, a little bit left to right. Well done. Good par, that. Jeez. That's a <laughs> tough hole, that one. Wow. Jeez. Right. <laughs> we'll go down the left. Everybody, this ain't over. <laughs> As always, we this go ain't the over. Eighteenth hole. It's come down to this, my friend. Again. 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 <laughs> we love the drama. Well, we and the sun is setting. This is dramatic. It's a uh, eighteenth hole. Is a four hundred twenty-nine yard par four. There's bunkers that split the fairway diagonally to the right. <sighs> Just all depends how aggressive you want to be. I just, I just not having a great deal of confidence with my driver. And I feel like I've had huge confidence in my three iron. I'm just gonna rifle the three iron as hard as I can, get it in the fairway, and then try and make it from there. So toey one. Scamper. Is it the fairway? A little, bit of, a little bit of ground release on it. It's hopping, skipping, jumping. It's the only club I'm afraid in my bag that I've got any confidence of hitting the fairway with today. That's not ideal. Got to do what i got to do in this situation. Right, Pete, over to you. Five wood in hand. Yeah, I'd like to hit driver, but I think that's right in that bunker range, so... Just a five wood down there. Oh, come on back. Don't fail me now. It's pretty much straight at your ball, slight fade. Little pull hook. It's gone left. Oh. Bit a couple of that today. Uh, bit a couple of really good shots. And a couple of real whiffy ones. Oh dear. Five wood to find the fairway. Stay calm everyone, stay calm. <laughs> this is not over yet by any stretch. God, I don't think I can, I don't think my heart can take it anymore. I'm getting too old for this stuff. Well, well, well. What do we have here? 203 yards. Doesn't look like it because that flag is again absolutely gigantic. <laughs> Laid back so far. This is just absolutely crying out for an all time golf bit of shot, this. Oh, is it just? <laughs> you, 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 you're seeing what I'm seeing, right? Jeez, I always know what happens here. You're seeing what I'm seeing. I'm just, in my head, I already know what happens. This is just like, this is almost like a live action replay. Come on, make it happen, Pete. Make magic happen. Get in the hole. He's made magic happen. Beautiful, beautiful. It's exactly what we wanted to see right there, right then. Oh. Well done, mate. Hey, listen, it takes 18 holes, but it's a bit of quality. <laughs> a bit well of quality done. pokes out at the end. That's the problem when there's nothing in the way, it's harder. I 100% agree. Could not agree more. Okay, this is new territory for me. Being on the fairway on the 18th hole of a golf bidder challenge. Do you want to pre just pretend there's a big tree in I the I feel way? like I need something to spark my imagination. If you visualise that that bunk is a tree, Put it this way, I need to make birdie. You are now pretty much in the hole for par. I have to make birdie 
to tie up this match. 197 yards. Adrenaline is pumping through my brains. I feel like I could hit a, a nine iron there. I'm gonna hit just a nice six iron. I don't think I have to muller this. Come on. If there's a time to hold one, it's right now. Oh, pulled it. Pulled it. No. Pulled it. Damn. Oh. Always been the slight issue with these irons today. Ah, that's what I mean. That's why I needed a tree. I, I, I told you, punk it. Just imagine. You should have started at the same tree I did. Right. Not where I wanted to finish, I'm afraid. Really wanted to give myself a putt for birdie here, but listen, if you're going to tie up a match, let's see if we can just lob one in. This is actually the only club I've not used in my bag today, my 58 degree. Oh, really? First time using it. <laughs> in one shot at glory. First time using it, and there's a lot of weight on its shoulders. Come on, one time. One time, Rick. One time. Come on, one time. You know what to do, golf ball. You need to land on the green, roll down the bank, and go in the hole. One time. Come on. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> it was a bit of a slope, right? Didn't even give it a go. Didn't even give it a chance. Man, oh man. Tried my best. I mean, you never know what happens next. Pete might three put. Well, it's not an easy put. Down the slope, big, big turn right at the end. It's coming down the green, left to right. Come on. Set to win the match, two putts wins the match. Oh, it's professional. It's very professional. Well done, Peter Finch. Well done. Well, I never, I'm saying I never expected it to go down the last. Of course I expected it to go down the last. <laughs> It had to, did it really? Good work. There's mate. no any other way. Good work. That was a, a back and forth tussle for the full 18 holes. Pete ended up winning two up <sighs> for another year. You've then got your nose ahead in the matches. I do, I do, right. but I, that. I won't make a big deal out of it. Until next time, be sure to subscribe to Pete. Thanks for watching. <laughs> be sure to check out Golf Bidder as always. Top line in the description. Shall see you soon. Par Par Paris are going much. <laughs> we'll see you soon for another challenge. Gave it my all. Blew it. Blew it. Next time. See you soon.